Hello, this is Sarah from smallbusinesssarah.com and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily, quickly upload a custom chart of accounts into QuickBooks Online for your Etsy shop business. So we're working in QuickBooks Online because I think it's the best accounting program out there. I use it for my own business and it's the only program I use for my bookkeeping clients as well. So if you're an Etsy shop owner and you sign up for QuickBooks Online, they are going to give you, um, and by the way, this is QuickBooks Online Simple Start. This is not the self-employed version or the QuickBooks um, for Etsy. That's a, a very different version that has very limited capabilities. So we're in kind of um, the normal version, QuickBooks Online Simple Start. Okay, so let's take a look at what QuickBooks might give you when you're first getting signed up. So we're going to go to Accounting and Chart of Accounts. And they've got kind of like their own group of some of the preset accounts that they think you might need. Advertising, automobile, uh, commission and fees, disposal fees, equipment rental. I mean, a lot of this stuff is just not what we need as Etsy shop owners. So what we wanna do is we wanna put in our own accounts that we wanna use. And the chart of accounts, these accounts here, these are the buckets that we're putting in, putting our transactions in as we're categorizing things in the bank feed. And when we put things in buckets, those buckets then populate our profit and loss statement. And we want our profit and loss statement to be readable by us, to make sense to us, because that way we can make better decisions for our business. And so the best way to get a profit and loss statement that makes sense for your business is to customize the chart of accounts. So we're customizing the buckets that we're putting all of our transactions into. And this is going to be so easy because I'm going to give you the download file as well and you can do it just as quickly and easily. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here, we're gonna click on the gear, we're gonna go to Tools, Import Data. Then we're gonna select Chart of Accounts, and we're gonna browse for our file. Like I said, I have a link down below where you can get this exact same CSV file. So Chart of Accounts Etsy. If you're a blogger, I have a video um, with a link for a blogger Chart of Accounts as well and we're gonna hit next. Okay, this page you're not gonna have to worry about because I have a header row on the CSV file which is already mapping um, this information. Hit next again. So these are the um, custom accounts that we're gonna be uploading. So let's take a quick look at them. We've got our Etsy income and this is like our header account and below it we have sub accounts which are Etsy sales, shipping income, discounts, and refunds. So those are all the accounts that we're going to need when we are recording our Etsy transactions each month. Um, next we've got our Etsy expenses. We've got, it's kind of cutting off because I have to put the long thing first, but we've got our fees, our listing, our transaction, our order processing fees, our shipping expense, shipping supplies, all of that sort of thing that we need for our Etsy shop business. Um, I also added an account that I call Online Tools, Programs, and Subscriptions because so much of online business are those little online tools that we use to manage things. We've got cost of goods sold for our supplies and materials, sales tax payable, federal estimated tax payments, state estimated tax payments, and then Etsy Bank. If you've followed any of my other videos, um, the Etsy bank method is my recommended method for quickly and easily and extremely accurately getting your Etsy shop revenues and fees into QuickBooks each month. So be sure to look for those videos if you're not sure um, what this account is for. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and import all of these. And you'll probably get a screen like this because 
sometimes QuickBooks already has some of these accounts in the chart of accounts and they don't want them duplicated. So in this case, they already have a cost of goods sold, which is great, so we'll just uncheck that and that won't get uploaded. Import and we're done. So let's check it out. If we go back to accounting, chart of accounts, Let's take a look at income. Ah, now we have all the Etsy income accounts we need rather than income accounts called like billable expense income. Like we don't need that as an Etsy shop owner. And you can, if you wanna um, make accounts inactive in QuickBooks so you don't use them, you can do that if you want. Down below, let's look at our expenses. I mean, sure, we might, Bank charges, that's an account we'll use, but probably not equipment rental. But now we've got all of our Etsy shop expenses. And those accounts we certainly will use every month. So as you can see, that was so quick and easy. And now we have our chart of accounts all ready to go, customized for us as an Etsy shop owner. Like I said, look down below in the link and you can get your CSV file, that download, so that you can do this just as quickly as I did. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I have other videos that discuss, that discuss other aspects of Etsy shop bookkeeping um, and also information on my website, Small Business Sarah. So check it out if you are getting started with bookkeeping. Um, as an Etsy shop owner, I have lots of resources for you. If this video was helpful to you at all, then I would really appreciate your subscribe. I hope you have a great day.